Okay guys, welcome back. So we're gonna continue on with the UI of our app. But first, I just wanna change the username field to email because um, <clears throat> with Firebase, it needs to be email, um, or I think it needs to be at least. So we're just gonna change it to email field, and then we're gonna change this field type to email. Um, and it also might, I mean, with the node, version, you could do either one of them pretty easily, but I'm just gonna change that to email and make sure there's nothing else that needs to be changed. I don't think so. And the nice thing about setting it up like that is it's very, uh, having the reusable, little customizable text fields is, it's very easy to change things around when you structure it properly. So, oops, okay. So what we need to do is we need to do the forgotten password page now. So we're gonna go into our forgot password controller and we are going to make the header view. So private let header view. And actually, before we do that, I'm just gonna make some sections. So uh, view controller sections. We're just gonna do that and do that. So private let header view equals auth header view. And we're gonna do title. And our title is going to be forgot password. And our subtitle, and I want this to be a capital. Our subtitle is gonna be reset your password. So then we're gonna do private let email field equals custom text field with a field type of what am I doing? With a field, field type of email, then we're gonna have private let reset password button equals custom button uh, with a title um, of sign up and a size of big. And for some reason we didn't get that parenthesis. Then we need to go back in and we need to do has background of true. So I'm just gonna get rid of this has variables or this mark variables because we don't need it. So we're gonna make a setup UI function. We're gonna copy this background in here and change it to system background. We're gonna call setup UI from the controller self.setupui. And then we're going to have three views in our add sub views. So we're gonna copy and paste that three times. And we're gonna copy and paste the translates three times. And we need header view, we need email, and then email, header view, email field, and reset password button. So copy and paste down to translates. Okay, cool. We'll just keep these here so we can copy and paste. So what we need is we need a top anchor, trailing anchor. I'm just gonna copy these. So we don't need the bottom anchor here. We need a height anchor. And these are all gonna be for header view. So our header view dot top anchor is gonna be self.view.topanchor with a constant of 30. The leading anchor is gonna be self.view.leadingAnchor. Trailing anchor is gonna be self.view.trailingAnchor. And our height anchor is gonna be 230. This is the exact same as the other pages. So we can actually just go into register controller and look for the email field and just grab that. So we're just gonna paste that. I don't really like the selfs on this actually, but whatever. So our top anchor is gonna be the header view dot bottom anchor with a constant of 11. And then let's just make sure everything else is correct. And it is. So after that, um, after that, the, I'm gonna get rid of these or add these to keep it consistent. So the reset password field is the next one. So I just copy and pasted from the email one. 
So we want reset password button dot top anchor equals to email field dot bottom anchor with a constant of 22. And then everything else is the same. So we're done our UI. Should be. So now if we go into our reset, there we go. So looks good. So one thing that we do want is we do want the back button and it's not there because we disabled it in the previous one. So on our view will view will appear super dot view will appear view will appear with animated passing in this animated variable and we're going to say self dot navigation controller dot navigation bar dot is hidden equals to false so that we can see the back button then in the view did load what we're going to say is let's just make sure that worked so now we can freely go back and forth so in the view did load, we're gonna say self dot reset password button dot add target, not subview, target, add target for self selector did tap forgot password for event dot touch up inside. So come down to the selector or we're actually gonna copy the name first and in our selector section, we're gonna say, at objective c private func and then did tap forgot password uh, parenthesis uh, you get the drill um and we're gonna say guard let email equals self dot email dot text and then we're gonna do exclamation point point email dot is empty else return so here we're just making sure, well, we should actually be, do, be doing uh, email validation on this, which I didn't do in my original, in my actual code when I did in other places, but we'll fix this later. So we're just going to make a little to-do email validation. And it's good to leave these little to-dos for yourself when you're coding because you could just easily forget about this. So we don't really have to do anything more here. So we can move on with our project. So one thing we will do, this is actually shorter than I thought. I'm going to split the alerts into a different video so I can title it a little bit different. But in home controller, let's just do view controller sections. And we're not really, the point of this uh, series isn't really um, to make a nice home page. So we're not going to. Um, so variables we can just get rid of. All we're gonna have is just a label. So we're gonna say, I'm gonna use my auto completion for UI label. And we're just gonna say for the title, just loading dot, dot, dot. Usually I like to put error so that we know if something's wrong. Font of size 24, uh, we're gonna do semi bold. Uh, so text color label alignment center. And then for label, we're actually just gonna do number of lines equals two. Otherwise, things will get cut off. So for UI setup, we're just going to do our UI, setup UI function. We're going to paste the background color in here, which is just going to be system background. And we're going to call this in our view did low, view did load. So we're going to want a navigation item of self uh, for logout. So we're going to say self.navigation item dot right bar button item equals UI bar button item. And we're just gonna do one with a title. Um, title title is logout, style is dot plane. Uh, target is self, selector, uh, action is selector, did tap logout. We're gonna copy our did tap logout function. We're gonna come down here and say at objective C, private func did tap log out. So we only have one UI component, which is label. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a center X and a center Y anchor. So for now we can come to our view to the load and we're just gonna say uh, self dot dot label dot text equals, and I'm just gonna do code bra uh, dash n or backslash n, and then just code bra at gmail.com. 
and <clears throat> that's all the information we're going to show. So there we go, Cobra, and then Cobra at gmail.com. But the only reason I'm using the username is just to show how to save data in Firebase and then also Node.js. So we don't have our right bar button item. And that is because when we're opening this view controller, we're not doing it. So we need to go to login controller. We're not using a navigation controller. So in login controller, go to the bottom and did tap sign in. We're just gonna, we're gonna keep VC the same. And then we're gonna say let nav equals UI navigation controller with a root view controller VC. And then the nav we're gonna pass into the present. And then hopefully this full screen mode will still work. Otherwise we'll have to change it to the nav. And my computer always lags when it first opens an app. So no, it doesn't. So as you can see, it's modal now. So we wanna do nav.modal presentation style equals dot full screen. Okay, perfect. So we have our logout button and we can leave it there. I'm gonna look to see if there's any more UI things we need to do. Okay, so it looks as it's um, pretty much done. The last thing we have is the alert manager, which I want to do before we split off Firebase into the Firebase version and then the Node.js into the Node.js version. So we're gonna do that in the next video. I'm just going to make it its own separate video. But yeah, so that's all. If you're excited for the Firebase and Node.js versions, please click subscribe. I'm going to continue making content like this. I like doing the tutorials on like building actually something. I do want to do some basic uh, Swift tutorials. I wanna do a whole playlist on that. But um, yeah, anyways, so hit the like if you're liking the series and that is all, thank you.